Hi everyone, this is a short introduction on health physics. The concern about the harmful effects of radiation started earlier. In 1896, the first recorded radiation damage case occurred. It's just a year after the discovery of X-ray by Wilhelm Röntgen in the year 1895. In addition, the first limit with respect to X-ray exposure was set in the year 1920s. With these events, health physics was established. But what is health physics? What is the role of a health physicist? So we will discuss those things in this short lecture. Health physics is the science of radiation protection. It is the discipline that covers all the activities related to the protection of individuals that includes the general public from potentially harmful effects of ionizing radiation. In addition, health physicists protect people and their environment from potentially uh, harmful effects of radiation while making it possible to enjoy the benefits of its usage. Health physicists work in variety of disciplines. First, we have power reactor health physicists. They are the one responsible in the nuclear power plant in establishing radiation safety program. In addition, they respond quickly and with their expertise uh, in the unlikely events of radiation accidents in a nuclear power plant. They are trained to assess potential environmental impact and to ensure that the nuclear power plant facility complies with the regulations. Next, we have the medical health physicist. It serves as the designated radiation safety officer for a given medical facility. The radiation safety officer of a hospital, let's say, is mainly responsible in performing radiation safety service of all radiation sources used within the facility. That includes monitoring radiation exposure of workers, patients, and visitors. Next, we have health physicists working under the regulation. They establish the rules and regulation regarding the use and disposal of radioactive materials, as an example. They also ensure the current safety uh, requirements are properly implemented in every facility. Next, we have a health physicist working in the education sector. They are mainly responsible in doing research and in supervising future students. Last, we have environmental health physicists. They do surveillance in the environment for natural radioactivity or for possible contamination. All of this uh, fields are related to radiation protection. We can classify sources of ionizing radiation into two. The first one is the natural or background radiation, which is the radiation emitted by natural radioisotopes present in the earth. It can also be found in the air that we breathe and in the water that we drink. Also in the food that we take. Thus, it is also present in the human body. In addition, natural or background radiation is also present in the outer space through cosmic rays or cosmic radiation. Next, we have man-made radiation. Man-made radiation are radiations emitted by radioisotopes that have been produced by nuclear reactors and accelerators. It also includes those radiation emitted by your diagnostic or therapy machines, such as your X-ray tubes and radiography or CT scan, or the high or or the mega voltage X-rays from the LINAC. Here are some of the tasks of a health physicist. First, health physicist is responsible in the detection and measurement of radiation 
in areas of work and in the environment. So that includes the occupational safety. And for the environment, that includes the monitoring of natural background radiation or monitoring if there is a contamination in the environment. Second is the proper operation and calibration of instruments. Health physicist is responsible in making sure that the radiation survey meters, let's say, are properly calibrated. Third, health physicist is also responsible in the design and in implementation of shielding for radiation protection. Fourth, health physicist enforce regulations for proper handling of radiation sources. And it is based on the regulation uh, established in a given state. Last, health physicists maintain acceptable levels of radiation uh, levels or radiation exposure for both the general public and the radiation workers.